Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I am up with a code to calculate the complex Fourier series with MATLAB. Uh, I tested this code with a rectangular or square wave and it gave me the right answer. So I hope that it will work fine for all the time. Uh, the function that, that we use is uh, C4 for complex Fourier series and uh, F is my function L1. Uh, these are all arguments and the arguments are explained over here. The first one is function, second one is first limit or initial limit, final limit and then the time period of our function. Here is the time of function will come. So this is the whole code and I will try to solve some problem, some uh, time limit function with it and find the AK or the Fourier coefficient C naught or CK. First of all C F O U R function, my function this time is just 1 and uh, it's from negative 1 to 1 so it's a square function and uh, we can uh, we have this time period of 4 uh, and it's repeating itself after 4 uh, period and or maybe after 4 uh, some number so here is my answer my a naught is equal to 1 over 2 and my cn is equal to uh, sine uh, you, you can see there is a uh, here is a sine h a hyperbolic sine you can also you know, consider it as a sine p by 2 which is equal to 1 and then sine p uh, pi is equal to 0 and then negative 1 0 and then 1 so from here is this 4 or 5 uh, harmonics we can uh, calculate or predict that the this function is uh, the, the coefficients of this function are oscillating between 1 and negative 1 but zeros in between them when sine is 2 by 3 by 4 by 5 by or any number uh, any definite number uh, so it took 0.6 seconds so let's try another function for this here's a function I want to integrate t so let's see I don't have function c sorry you have to first of all you have to declare the function symst as you did now now it will calculate the Fourier series for you and here is the coefficients main quite long quite long uh, you can also change the period or maybe two two or from uh, sorry maybe four from negative two to two and here is my coefficients first five harmonics so let's do the same thing with the exponential function if I have uh, this type of exponent e to the power e exponential uh, t and let's see how it behaves uh, here is our a naught and uh, here is our uh, cn so here are your coefficients of scalar quantities so let's get start uh, let, let's just do the last thing you can sign uh, cause t so let's integrate the sign 1 over 2 and here is my coefficient is too long so uh, you can see number 6 number 6 number 6 number 2 number 3 number 3 and all these numbers are demonstrated over here because they were very big values and maybe they are not accommodating uh, in the denominator so it number this so as you can see here is our uh, the four year complex four year series to solve and get the harmonics. Last, last, last thing if I exponential a to the t, what it says it says I'm doing s y m s a. De declare the function and now it's asking the calculate. I think it will solve it gen uh, generically. And if I say the a is equal to something uh, five, so it will solve it with respect to five and do the uh, rest of the calculations. Thank you. If you think there is something wrong in it, please let me know. And I want to hear from you in the form of comments.